Right, Entertainment Daily Lovers, we are back with some celebrity news. The late Megan Kanka's family are fuming. Actually, her dad is furious with singer Megan Stalin. Let's get right into this conversation. Welcome, welcome to the channel. And this is where you get celebrity news trending, news, YouTubers, gist, and many more fun stuff all right so don't forget to subscribe uh turn on notification bell if you want to dissect and analyze with us over here you are welcome drop a comment below letting us know what you think about today's topic okay so let's get right into the story right about now yes so megan is a seven was because she's late sadly megan was a seven years old uh girl that was actually you know the r word i can't say it here but i'll put it on the screen was actually r by her neighbor and unleaved also by her neighbor so that was a tragedy so uh that's part of the reason why her father is furious at what megan just did okay so let's get right into that story so part of this uh story reads that megan's law uh came about in 1994 after the seven years old megan kanka was raped and murdered by her neighbor jesse no need to say the ridiculous guy's full name but his first name is jesse before megan kanka's uh on leaving uh, the Je uh, Jesse had already been convicted of assaulting two other children. The law was named in Megan's Kanka's honor and required information about sex offenders to be disclosed publicly. Okay, so let's continue. Furthermore, uh, stated that uh, in in a statement by TMZ, Richard Kanka, Richard Kanka, who happens to be the late Megan Kanka's father, uh, Richard Kanka expressed his frustration with the mention, saying his daughter's name being used in such a graphic and offensive way is highly offensive to the pain felt by both their families and their daughters. Uh, he uh, he has not heard the song, uh, according to what he said. He has not heard the song, but he said that it was brought to his attention by his other children. He said he, uh, he has read the lyrics of the song and he's looking into legal options like he, can he sue and or what can he do about this but right about now the internet is kind of divided where some persons are saying well uh it seems like artists do have a right or they have a law that protects them uh which states that they can actually mention historical cases like this uh that there is nothing wrong and megan the stallion did not do anything wrong in this case uh but others some persons are actually saying well maybe there might be something that this man can do about it he might be able to sue meg other people are saying look a whole lot of people did not know so much about the late uh megan kanker's case and that megan the stallion mentioning it in her song has actually thrown more light has actually um gotten more people to know about the whole thing but another thing that uh, some persons were saying is that he said that uh this is graphic and it's kind of not fair that meg would do this but he also stated that he has not listened to the song he only heard the lyrics so some persons are saying maybe it's not as bad as he thinks, but that he should just calm down and let it go because it was not to spite the family or Meg did not do this for a bad reason, but she, she, may, she probably just wanted to, uh, you know, reference that because of one or two things she wanted to say in the song but my point right now is please comment 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 first of all i want to hear from you i want to hear what your opinions are what do you think do you think uh megan kanker's father should sue or do you think that this is actually uh going to help other people because sometimes people are too calm and trusting of neighbors just because somebody presents themselves or themselves to be this good kind uh helpful neighbor but doesn't mean that they are really that good and also you might not know what your neighbor might have done where he was uh, uh staying before he actually moved to that your neighborhood so people will kind of be more careful because not everybody got to know about this and thinking that this happened since in 1990 something uh there are lots of people that were giving birth in the 2000s and all of that and they just feel like more people will get to know about the story and uh richard kanka should not take this 
as if it is something bad but should look at the good part and to see that though his daughter might be gone and gone in a very horrible manner but meg the stallion mentioning this was no way uh or, or no shape or in, in no way or shape or form that she was trying to insult or demean or trying to play down on what the evil jesse did to their beautiful little girl but if you disagree and you think he should really look his up look look out for his options and see if he can sue or what he can do and if there is something that he can do legally then he should take that legal action against meg the stallion still comment down below let's talk about this let's keep this interactive let's share our opinion let us know have you heard of this case before do you know about this case or you're just hearing about it for the first time uh now let us know in the comment section do you think meg was wrong do you think uh the uh megan kanka's father should sue all of these are what i want us to discuss because we can always learn from this as we're watching and listening to what is going on and we're going to bring more updates if he goes ahead to sue meg or if he asks for that song to be taken down or maybe re-edited or something and remove his daughter's name we will keep you updated thank you so very much for watching share like and comment